Hey guys, it's me again, and welcome to Endless Suffering. Thing says I'm an idiot, like an actual game that will perfectly demonstrate why I'm an idiot. One for the rest of our lives. Uh. Okay, that was really weird. Uh. I hope it sounds okay now. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's a little loud. I hope it's not too loud. That should be fine, right? So yeah, in case you didn't hear the news, a Curious Village just released on iOS and Android devices, so I thought I'd celebrate and play it. I don't, how are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? That is a fair question. I mean, considering what happened in the prequel trilogy. Yeah, this, this series means the world to me, and I was just like, you know, I really want to show my YouTube channel just how much I love this game. Oh yeah! <laughs> I literally play video games for a living. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Probably a good idea. Two months ago, Baron oh, shit. Reinhold passed away. This is this is already intense. Reinhold? Is that how you pronounce that name? Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating to say the least. Really? The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. Is that what we're gonna do? But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. So yeah, if you want to play this game and you don't have a DS, well, you don't need one anymore. You can buy it on the App Store for like, uh, ten bucks? I don't remember. I'm not gonna bother to check. Has it been ten years? I think it's literally been more than ten years. Wow. How did- how did that happen? Some puzzle, what? <laughs> Luke's voice sounds weird. Is that- Is, it, is anyone else- is, Does anyone else know what this game series is? Am I alone? Wait, Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. Hmm. This is actually really fascinating looking back on it since I've finished the game and I know what happens. It's like... What a perplexing individual. It's crazy. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. Which is great, by the way, because it's free without any of the sadness of uncle death. Oof. It certainly sounds like you two would have got along, Professor. So fascinating looking back on this game and how old it is. And everything. But Luke, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. That's uh -huh. what usually happens. Is that your famous intuition at work again, Professor? <laughs> Why does Luke sound like an anime character? I don't even think I can, like, distract myself from that. <laughs> I'm not used to him sounding like that. It's weird. Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope Sam is there is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. It's... is he gonna say... whoops. Is he gonna uh, say... Uh, oh, <laughs> you know as well as I do that I am Yep, no he's gonna say that. He constantly says he's not a detective. I mean, I guess technically he's not, but... you know. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. Your name would be everywhere after what happened. You immediately decided to take her up on her request. Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. This is literally the exposition for the entire series. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. Right you are, Professor. What in the... What <laughs> <is>? <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Luke. Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Care to give it a go, Luke? I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be no problem for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll Number one apprentice. One to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Mm -hmm. 
Give me that s the sweet, juicy puzzles. Don't get used to this, by the way. This is the easiest puzzle in the entire game. And there's no memo function. Ah! Okay. This is literally the easiest puzzle. My village is on a road that leads to no other village. I look forward to seeing you there. So... Hmm. I always forget what it really means by that. So I guess not passing the other villages? So not those two. Then... Uh, I think it's this one. If I'm remembering correctly, anyway. Well, here's my guess. Yep, that was correct. Perfect. The apprentice saves the day. It's weird hearing these sounds through my high-quality headphones. Oh, I see, I see. All right. It's only gonna get harder from here, folks. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. <laughs> oh yeah, he solved it anyway. <laughs> Professor, do you mean to say you've already worked out the village's location? I mean, considering it's literally, literally the easiest puzzle in any Leighton game that I've ever played anyway. <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Oh, I'm sure. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so excited over it. I played it literally like... A few months ago? I don't know, it hasn't been that long. <sighs> it's a little loud in my... Headphones. By the way, I own the game in real life, in case anyone was curious. But I'm recording this on an emulator because I don't have any way- How would you capture a, D a DS's screen with a camera? Like I would normally do. Like, it's not possible. <coughs> Sorry, I've been sick. Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? <laughs> this is what I was looking forward to. Badly doing the voices. Oh, look over there. There's a man standing up on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> we could swim across, but it'd be terribly cold. This is when you tap everything for hint coins. Right? Oh wait, no, you you can't get hit coins yet. <sighs> well, that's certainly interesting. Interesting to not be able to tap on everything for hint coins. Hey, sir, we very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy-looking outsiders? Hermph. You got a lot of nerve. Hang on, maybe that I made this too quiet. Yeah, that's probably fine. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. I've never recorded on an emulator with OBS before, so it's kind of weird. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia. Well then, I'd love to lower the bridge for you, smarty pants. But the engine is broken, and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Hermph. There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I ain't got a clue which one to use. Hermph. So brain box. <coughs> Excuse me. You got any idea which one is the right one? I guess that's our second puzzle. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire game. It's solving puzzles. The slot that fits the crank shown below. So yeah, this... Hmm. Hang on, give me a sec. Give me a second. Maybe you guys will be able to solve it before I do. <laughs> Probably be the case with my luck. Uh, I think it's this one. That should do it. Okay, cool. Yes. Critical thinking is the key to success. I've been on this screen so many times. All right. Yeah, it's it's a mirror image thing. It's kind of tricky to do sometimes. If you don't have the eye for it, it's tricky to do, I guess. On the sec, I'll let her down. Hermph. 
I'm gonna say it again, I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into Saint Mystery. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guest, I guess I'd better. Can we even show him the thing we have over the river? <laughs> that was a pretty wide river. Uh, at least give her my regards, you hear? Alright, fine. Sure. Will do, I guess. Oh, these games have so much love put into them, and you can tell. You can tell how much love was put into these games, and I love it. When was the first time I even played this game? I was like, uh... It was like Christmas of 2011 or 2012 or something like that. Yes, we finally arrived in St. Mystery. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here. As I botch my British accent. Haha, <laughs> well, Luke, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. I swear, he always talks in a way that... At least I know, I know all about this. He always talks in a way like he's trying to get that, that word count on that essay. Well, this is when he teaches you about hidden coins. What? Oh, did I hit the door on accident? I guess. Kind of hard to do. It's not hard to do at all. <laughs> yes, now I can tap on every part of every screen. Yeah, why would I use hint coins? I literally use hint coins so sparingly. Let's see, there's one. And not the door. I could have sworn there was more than that. Oh well. Welcome to St. Mystery, where our local export is the puzzle. You mean like every other city in this entire universe? But before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn Picarats. Yes, that's correct. Yes, collect Picarats and you can unlock everything in the bonus section of this game. It's, it's worth 10 Picarats. Of course, it's gonna not be too bad. Hmm. I still have this too low. I'm adjusting the volume a lot. I hope it's not too noticeable. Four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and height that are the same length. Which hat is it? So this is an, an optical illusion puzzle. It's pretty easy for me, honestly. That's, uh... This is easy to do if you actually have, like, the stylus to compare heights to. Yeah, it's A. There we go. It's still a, a nerve-wracking screen, though. Every puzzle has an answer. Indeed. Yeah, see, it shows you that. Thank you, Ingrid. You've been most... I know all of this already. <laughs> I've been playing these games for so long. Thinking, Professor, shouldn't we be keeping a record? Oh yeah, that's the Professor's trunk. Got it. I know about all of this, too. <laughs> you, you should probably not skip all of this if you've never played before. I've been through this so many times, <laughs> and it's still so much fun. Oh, I love these games. Okay, I mean, I could probably just use a save state, since, you know, it's an emulator. But we can pretend it's not an emulator. Because, for all intents and purposes, it's not an emulator. Percy, St. Mystery's unofficial writer-in-residence. Reinhold Manor, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know when you see it. Before you go, why not try this puzzle, yeah? Which house is mine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you manage to solve it, I'll tell you about this village. <coughs> <coughs> Something's in my throat! <coughs> yeah, of course. I, I, I tapped you because I knew that you would have a puzzle. That's how this works. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Go out the front door of my place, turn left. First junction, you come across, take a right, turn right again at the following junction. You'll come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. That's why this is important, by the way. Because you need to know which way is east. So this is pretty easy. I mean, I would rather have the memo function, obviously, but since we don't have it, I'll just... whatever, you know. I think I've solved this one just by working backwards, so it's... Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you're facing east in the beginning, then... Right, that would mean you'd turn left. I don't think I did this by working backwards. Oh, it's this one, right? Let's see. I keep hitting that my mic, do stop doing that. 
Okay, cool. Good. I did it! Another puzzle solved. <laughs> Still feels good even if I'm not getting that many picarats out of it. Yeah, this is the only house that's facing up, so it was likely to be the answer anyway, but... You know, they own all the buildings too. I suppose you could say this village belongs to the Reinholds. Reinholds, whatever. That's all from me for now. See, I have some some of my family members have the last name of Reynold. And it's not it's spelt the same way, but it's not pronounced Reinhold. <laughs> is that a British thing or is it just a quirk of the voice actor? I mean who knows. Actually I'm gonna look for hit coins first. See, you always wanna do that. Oh, that's a puzzle. <laughs> oh well, I can solve another puzzle. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for you. <laughs> uh, you you'll hear that a lot in the series, by the way. This is worth 50 picarats. <laughs> that was quite a leap. I don't think I was supposed to find this yet. <laughs> well, no, because it's puzzle number five. I don't know. An ordinary analog clock has two hands, with the longer hand moving faster around the face of the clock. Yeah, obviously. I know how clocks work. I'm not that dumb. Assuming this clock keeps perfect time, how many times will the long and short hands- No! <laughs> <sighs> oh, 12. It's 12, right? Hang on, so... Yeah, because the hour hand is here-ish when the minute hand passes it. And then it'll be here, and then there. So yeah, that's like 12, right? I think? Let me try it. Well, here's my guess. No, really? <sighs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's easy if you try it for real. Uh-huh, if I had a real clock with me that I could just take off the wall and test. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That's always the worst part, is when you lose Picarats because you got the wrong answer. <sighs> I don't have to be doing this right now. Ah, <sighs> oh, come on, I can solve it. <sighs> and stop hitting my microphone. You guys like that? You like when I hit my mic? Maybe it's just 11. Ah, stop doing that. Maybe? I think I got it! No. Okay. I've let you down, Professor. <laughs> if it's not 12 or 11, then what is it? <sighs> 40 picarats is still a lot, I guess. On my save file on my DS, I have everything unlocked because I got enough picarats, despite the fact that this has happened to me many times, where I get the wrong answer and I end up losing picarats. I think I got it! Come on. Oh! Oh, yes! Okay, cool. <sighs> Professor, I knew I could do I've it. Solved it. Took, me, took me losing all the picarats, though. <laughs> you only lose it twice, so. Ten times. Think about the answers obvious. You might have been tricked by the question. I was, actually. I fell into the trap. Hands pass over each other once an hour, but since they start and end directly on top of each other. Okay, that's what I was thinking, too. Cool, yo. Well done, my boy. So does that mean... Yeah, I've solved every puzzle so far. Look at the top left. That's all the time I have now. Yeah, I've been recording for 22 minutes. Alright, so... Um, if I decide to do more, I would love to. I'd love to play this whole series on my channel if I can. If there are proper emulators for the later games. Because emulating gets tricky when it's newer. For good reason, obviously. I'm not saying emulating is necessarily a good thing, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!